After the Germans came, were you aware of any deportations early on? Well, I could only tell you that I was in the first deportation what uh, that famous or infamous man, uh, Mr. Eichmann, he, he made the first transport of Austrian Jews to Poland as a trial to find out if we can send European Jews to Poland. Well, I was in order of the first transports. When was that? It was 1939. In September, the war against Poland started. And in October, I went in the first transport to Poland. How did you hear about the transport? No, I was notified I have to be there, there, at this or this time. And you couldn't hide, really. How, how many people went on that transport? Uh, uh, well, there, there is a question. They don't know themselves. It was two, two transports in a few days different. And the approximate is that it was nearly 2,000 people in the two transports. All Jewish? Yes. All men? No, men, women, but mostly men. Elderly people and a few young ones like me, they couldn't run away. So I went to Poland with the transport. Do you know how people were selected for the transport? How were people chosen for it? Or? Well, the Jewish community there, the community said, I had a list of the Jews there here. That's it. How much notice did you receive before the transport? Just wants to appear there and there. How many days or? No, I, I can't tell you that. That's... Did anyone else in your family get put on that transport? No. It was only my mother and me left, so there was nobody here. I don't, as long as they don't touch my mother, I will go. And she was left there and I went to Poland. Did you expect to come back again? Uh, I didn't expect anything. I lived from minute to minute or from hour to hour. And I never doubt about the next day either. Can you tell me about the transport? What type of transport was it? Yes, it was, uh, it was railway wagons, normal railway wagons. And we were, that was closed, completely closed, uh, and each one had to take some uh, food with him. Well, well, uh, and when they come to Poland, they opened the wagons and they had to get out. And the, the camp, what they had prepared, wasn't ready. They brought uh, a few hundred Czech Jews from Czechoslovakia there, also before us, and they haven't built a camp yet. So what they did, a high SS officer assembled us at a place and told us, now you all get over to, uh, because the Russians had occupied part of Poland, like the Germans did, and uh, he told us to go over to our Bolshevik brothers. That's what he called it. And we started to walk over to the border. It wasn't very far. And we went over the border to the Russians. And then from the 2,000 people, the majority was told that they can work there, that we send them to Siberia, and there will be nice camps there. And they send them there. And I and a group of other people didn't believe them, what they said. And we decided to go our own way. Eventually we were caught by a Russian uh, officer troop and we were taken to a military prison in Ravaruska, that is before 
uh, a part in Poland there, yeah? and here we were sitting six weeks. Then we were interrogated by uh, NKVD, by Russian uh, secret police, and they said, ah, well, you didn't want to go to work here. And we said, no, we are not going to Siberia. So he said, well, you probably, the Germans have sent you over, you all speak German, you're probably spies. And they put us in a transport and handed us back to the Germans, on the German side. And the Germans didn't know what to do with us. Where was that? That was at Belgitz, and it's a Polish place. And the Germans didn't know what to do with us. And when was and this too? That was uh, 1940, beginning 1940. And then, did, then something, something happened what I didn't understand till I come here in Australia. Uh, the SS commander from Krakow, who the, who the government, the German government, was ruling Poland there, yeah, has given us a few of us, I don't know how many, it was only one wagon full of people. It could be 70 or 100 or 120 or even less. Has given us a document, what I still have here, and told us we have to go home, what they call in your Heimat's Ort, that means where you are born, you have to go back. And they put us on a train, closed the train and sent us back the Czech Jews to Czechoslovakia and the Austrian Jews to Vienna. And for coming to Vienna, and at that time they put us on a rail there on a, uh, so that the public can see it, they released that, us and told us to report in the next few days at the Gestapo Centrale Center in Vienna. But let us go free. Eventually, uh, my mother was put in a transport to Poland from the, uh, and she went to a, a special place, a school, where they had to assemble and an Austrian, uh, a Christian that worked there, he told me and he helped me to get to Vienna back. He was a good man and I went back to Vienna and I joined voluntarily my mother in that place, in that school, and I went with him with the next transport again to Poland. And we went there to a place called Kielce.